Yes, good morning everybody. <coughs> I am Pramod Jaiswal. This is my second video. I hope you would have liked the first video. I dealt with the uh, introduction part and the plot of the Merchant of Venice. And uh, I had told you that uh, I would uh, begin Act 1, Scene 1. So let's uh, start. The play starts on a street in Venice. The main participants of playing the role is Antonio, Salanio and Salarino. Shakespeare has very subtly or very intellectually started the play with Antonio he is very, he is in a pensive mood, he is sad and his friends Sal Salanio and Salarino are worried why he is sad. But Antonio himself doesn't know why he is sad. Let me tell you, I am reading the lines. <laughs> So, in sooth, I know not why I am sad. It wearies me. He feels within himself, he feels that it tires him. You say it wearies you. And he is pointing to Sal Salarino as well as Salanio. That it wearies him, it makes him tired. But Antonio, he himself doesn't know. How he caught it. Now it refers to sadness. How, where he found it, as if it is something materialistic. When sadness is not at all materialistic, it is something at abstract. It is the state of mind, whether it is in tranquil or in turmoil. He himself doesn't know. Why he is sad? Where he found it and how he came across it. So Shakespeare has very uh, subtly introduced this abstract thing, sadness. And Antonio himself doesn't know. He once again says, what is its constituent, what it is composed of, what it constitutes, what it is made of. He himself cannot sort out, he cannot find, he cannot derive it. What is the content, how it is made up of. So it is very disturbed, he is in a very disturbed state of mind that uh, once again he says he himself doesn't know how I caught it, where I found it, what it is made of, how I came across it, whereof it is born. So he is in a very confused state of mind, what to do, what to say, when his friends, he sees that his friends are also worried about his sadness. Then obviously as Salarino and Salanio are good friends, they try to surmise, they try to uh, derive something or do the guesswork that it might be because of such and such reasons that Antonio is sad. So let's see what Salari Salarino says. Your mind is tossing in the ocean. Now when a thing in the ocean toss, tosses, tosses means bouncing in waves up and down when the sea waves are turbulent the ship is also tossing the waves are very turbulent disturbed so he says your mind is tossing in the ocean that means he is worried about his ships which are abroad in the sea towards moving towards its destination there where your argo sees Agosis means ships, his ventures, his business, his shipping business. And he says that your Agosis, your ships are out in the sea 
and your mind is over there wandering and thinking about the ways by which your ships are tossing about in turbulent ocean where your argos is with portly sail here portly refers to richness means rich his ship he himself is rich and his ship are full of cargo which is also which also pertains to richness where is portly sail that refers to is its richness or <clears throat> like senos signos it's not signos it is pronounced as senos and rich burgers on the flood means senos means master you give respect to someone and burgers <clears throat> means uh, very rich people where master or as if it were the pageants of the sea as if it was a good spectacle something wonderful sight that people see in the sea do over peer as when rich people move across the street they don't care about the down trodden people they think themselves of at a very elite class and high level and they peer at down trodden as if they are uh, worms and insects so it is the same thing it is comparing that uh, <coughs> it were the pageants of the do do over peer the petty traffickers petty traffickers traffickers means who are in the traffic petty means the small ones the diminutive ones in comparison a very small one down trodden one when the high class people those who are above the mass they look down upon the down trodden one the so same thing the that courtesy to them they pay courtesy means politeness respect and do them reverence reverence means respect respect them those down trodden low state people they pay respect to the rich ones now shakespeare has compared these uh, the rich argoses with the rich people and the petty traffickers with the small boat or small ships that what is the status in comparison to this one is shows its uh, supremacy over the uh, diminutive ones the small ones that is what he is trying to say that his uh, ships are rich so they over peer means they look down upon the petty traffickers that's courtesy to them do them respect as they fly by them now here the word fly the ships don't fly but it has been compared to birds which fly so the fact the figure of this speech is metaphor we are not using life if it has used life it would have been simile but we are taking shakespeare is taking for granted that ships are birds which is flying so he says which fly past them with their woven wings the wings which are woven in the birds <clears throat> the same he is comparing the ship as if the ship has wings and it can fly past by the small traffickers who are petty traffickers means the small boats and those small boats are paying them reverence respect to them so this much for today i hope you will like this video and we we will you will be expecting some uh, something more to, in the further as we move on to next uh, paragraph in the meantime i would say please like if you press the like button or if you wish to have something more in detail do subscribe for me thank you have a nice day